Good morning, good morning, my good people. It's your man, the morning star. Just jumping back on here. I had um, posted or uploaded a recording and I was talking about, you know, kind of sort of the Christians and the Muslims, but more so on the Muslim side of things as far as, you know, them being terrorists and um, and it's not all Muslims, but the radical Muslims and how awful they are. But what I didn't do is elaborate on the Christian side of things. You know, the Christians got a, a history as well of being terrorists for the most part. You know, conquering, dividing, you know, coming in, taking over stuff. I mean, what do you think the people that came over to the United States or the Americas, I should say, at the time were? They were Christians, but they came in. They, they befriended the Indians and then they took over. They started killing, stealing, you know, taking. Uh, when, when the Spanish people went to uh, what is now Mexico at the time, the Spanish went to Mexico and did the same thing. They went down and they conquered, they divided, they changed the, the landscape, you know, they changed the, the language and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, and I know that's the past, but we still have to look at that, uh, you know, because the Christians, they aren't what they claim to be either. You see what I'm saying? Um, and then not only that, I guarantee you, most of those people that went to the White House and, and did what they did at the time, I guarantee they can consider themselves Christians as well. And um, I was happening to watch, been watching a documentary and it had uh, one of the KKK members on there speaking. And he elaborated as well, saying that they are Christians. But they are a pure breed of Christian Christians and that blacks and all the other races that come in and pollute Christianity, which is nonsense. Christianity wasn't for one race. And I don't even know where Christianity came from, to be honest with you, because I don't see that mentioned anywhere biblically. It's something that we labeled ourselves as all these different titles that we put on ourselves and it's not even a reality it's not even written in the book you see what i'm saying but i'm only saying all, all this though because first thing people do when they see somebody with the head wrapped or one of the women with the garments on or whatever it may be they think terrorists but they don't look at the person like you and me and think the same thing because I'm going to be honest with you, most blacks aren't terrorists. It's these whites and like I say, you got these Muslims that are doing all this crazy stuff, going in, shooting up schools, going in, shooting up churches, out in public, just shooting people. You know, blacks do it sometimes, but mass shootings normally is, and I'm not prejudiced whatsoever, but it's normally a white person. And I guarantee you that white person identified themselves as a Christian or they came from a Christian household. You see what I'm saying? So we got to wake up. We got to stop letting the news and politicians and everything else curve our views on other people. You see what I'm saying? Because now with everything that's going on, people look at all Muslims as if they're dangerous. And don't even look at these Christians because they're just as dangerous. I mean, think about Catholics, for example, all the stuff that's going on in their church with with the whatever they call them, rabbis, priests, whatever they call them, molesting little boys. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, look at down in Mexico, the cartels. I guarantee you all of them are Catholics, which is Christianity in a sense. And look what they do. They rape women. They, they force them to work in their fields. Don't feed them. Don't let them see the children. Uh, kill men. You know, take them from their families. All this other stuff. But yet, it's the Muslims. You see what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to um, make light or whatever have you of what the Muslims are doing because they are dead wrong. You see what I'm saying? I wish there could be an end to this. But you know, like I said one time, it's like roaches. 
You know, if your house is infested with roaches or your apartment or whatever it is, and you set a bomb off in there, nine times out of ten, when you come back, you're going to have a bunch of dead roaches and you're going to have some new ones coming out of holes and everything else still crawling around. And that's how the Muslims are. You see what I'm saying? It's like you kill one and here come ten more. You know what I'm saying? So it's extremely bad what's going on over in the Middle East and wherever else. Don't get me wrong. You know, so something needs to be done, but nothing can be done. It's something that biblically is written that it's a forever war, you know, until the end of time. But you have to think about it. We've been over in Iran or Iraq or whatever it is for ages since i was a little boy desert storm and all this other stuff that they've been going that's been going on over there so it's something that's not going to ever end you know we have to keep troops over there to keep defending our freedom over here but it's something that ain't going to ever end you know but i'm just wanting to get on here and bring light to the whole thing you see what i'm saying to the show you what explaining bring back to your memory what the christians have done and continue to do you see what i'm saying and it's not once again all christians just like it ain't all muslims but you have these radicals in in the christian community as well as in the muslim community you know and i just want to jump on here and say that y'all man y'all be easy it's the morning start back on here one more time and i'll talk to y'all later